What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be giving you a Canva tutorial, a little graphic design for newbies on how to use Canva. Now we're going to be covering quite a lot pretty quick so if you have to you can always pause and rewind the video so you can re-watch and see how to do things. Also if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. So when it comes to Canva, it's my go-to tool for all my graphics, whether I'm creating books, thumbnails like all of these that you see on the channel and it's because it's just so easy to use and you're about to see just how easy that is so like i said this video right now is ideally for beginners if you have no idea on how to use canva so once you've signed up it's completely free to do so there's the free option and the paid option. I'm going to talk more about that in a bit. But once you've signed up, you've got all this on the left hand side. So here you have home, which brings you to this page. And then you have all of your designs. So if you start creating, this is just a little shortcut on how to get there. Then you have templates just here. So if we click on that, we can see there's over 50,000 free ready to use templates for your next project and you can scroll through by category and if you have a look you can see there's just so many different templates that you can use. This means that you can use a template and just change out a few things to how you want to get it. So have a look at the templates, we got flyers, brochures, certificates, so many different types. Then we have photos just here. So if we click on there and let that load up as well, we're going to see you can discover photos. There's millions of high quality free and premium photos to create beautiful designs. If you have the paid version, you get access to over 50 million premium photos, which is absolutely insane, just for $8.99 a month. Then we have apps just here. Now I'm going to cover apps a little bit more in detail, a little bit further along in this video because they now have some pretty cool ones. They got enhance your images so you can change it like that. Supercharge your workflow. And there's quite a few others as well. And then we also have brand kit. So if we take a look at brand kit, here is where you can upload your own fonts. If you have your own to upload or if you buy them in other places as you can see i pay for the paid version so i've got quite a lot in here and then we have design school so this is a must if you want to learn more in depth about canva then you can come over to here and check out the design school and as you can see they have over 12 thousand students then they have some mini courses just here so social media mastery graphic design basics branding your business presentations to impress and then a few more bits down here so i highly suggest you checking out that then they have create a team so this is specifically for if you're paying for the paid version you can invite team members just here so let's go back over to home and choose a template so i can show you some more features so let's go to templates just here we're going to let that load up let's scroll down and see what we can choose so let's go with flyers now one thing i didn't say as well when you're over here on the template 50,000 to choose from all you have to do is click on the search bar it's going to pull up all these you can type in keywords as well let's put covers and then you can see you get all these different options as well so let's go back down to well, a little bit too far let's go back up 
let's choose flyers. So on flyers, we're going to click here to see all. This is going to open up all the templates within flyers. And then we can see there's so many different ones to choose from. This one looks good. They all look pretty good because they are professionally designed. So to choose one, we're just going to click on it like that. And then we're going to go to here where it says use this template. So now this is opened in a brand new tab and we can start designing. Now, if you want to create something from scratch, all you have to do is go there. We'll go back to home. And then here you can put in custom dimensions. You can choose from pixels, inches, millimeters, and centimeters. You'd simply just put in, let's put in a six by nine because I'm used to using Canva to create books. So I'm just going to do six times nine, use inches as well, and then create design, and then it will open up a brand new tab with those dimensions. Now we'll come back to that in a minute, but let's go over here to the template. So we decided to use this template. If for some reason you don't like that and you want to check out more, you can do that just here on the left hand side under templates just here. So we have the event flyer, then we have the marketing flyer, and we could just scroll down and keep looking on all of these as well. We can click just here so we can see more within that category. And there's that one we saw a minute ago on the front page, but we can choose one of these as you can see. Now, maybe I don't like that and I want to go back to the previous design. So we can click just here and do undo and we've gone back. Then we have photos just here. So, you can see all the trending photos recently used. You have categories up here as well. So we might not want that background. We might want to use a different one. So we could choose that one. This is for the pro. I'm going to go over pro and premium and all that in a second. But we do that. Make it bigger. So we can click on the edge like that. Drag position to backwards. And there we go. So now we have that one there. Now with all these right here, let's just cover them quickly. We have effects. So these are the apps that I showed you a minute ago. You do have to add them. They're normally down here like that. But if you click on this, so we've clicked on the photo and now we want to change the effect. So let's choose this Arctic. So this is just going to take a few seconds to actually were. I paused the video just for a second because it was taking a little bit longer, probably because I'm recording. But as you can see, we've now got this effect on here and it looks pretty good. So you can always play around with all these different effects to get something that you like. Now let's just get rid of that for a second. Go back like that. Let's go back to that one just there. Now the good thing about Canva as well, it's cloud based and it saves automatically as you can see just here. Now let's click on this image and now let's take a look at the rest of these. So right here we got filter so you can play around with all these different filters so you can do grayscale, drama and so many others. Then we have adjust so you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, the tint, the blur and all that good stuff. You can also crop your images. So if you wanted to crop your image you could do that with that tool. Let's click cancel and then we have flip so we can flip horizontal, vertical as well. So let's go back to normal. Then over here we have this paste tool. Now, honestly, I'm not too sure what that does, so I'm just going to leave that. We've also got transparency, so let's click. No, I don't want that. Let's do that again. Let's click on the text, and if we go to, no, let's do that again, sorry. So we clicked on that, we can do the transparency, so this is great if you have something behind the image, so you can do that. We can also now lock the image. So if you lock that, you then can't actually move this because it's locked, which is great if you're doing a lot of text-based stuff. So let's actually click back on that. Let's unlock. So that's the tools that you get all the way up here. So you also have elements just here. 
So elements, you can get to see seal, which you've recently used, featured. Then you have grids. So grids are pretty good. So let's get rid of all of that. And let's just delete that as well. So with a grid, if you choose one of these, you want to grab and pull like that. And then when you choose a image, so let's go to photos. If we drag that into there, it fits into the box. So let me choose a different one so you can actually see that. Let's go back to elements. Let's choose a frame. These are pretty much the same as grids. So if I chose that frame and put that there, let's move that up a little bit to there. And then if we chose a photo again, it's going to drop it into that frame. So let's take that back like that back to elements then you have your shapes you have stickers charts gradients some pretty cool stuff then the text right here so if you click on this box it's going to pull up all the good stuff so we can click on add heading just there and then it's going to put it into your page and we can actually choose from loads of font combinations now with these font combinations these have been matched by professional designers, so they look really good together. So let's choose this one. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Let's choose a photo. Let's just put that on there like that. Let's make that a little bit bigger just by dragging the corners. And then if we move that down to there and then made that to white, we could then double click on there and put your text just here and on that one as well. So these color combinations, not color, sorry, these text combinations, these font combinations are pretty good. And then we have videos. So I haven't really played much around with this because I don't need to make any videos. We also have backgrounds just here. So if we click on one of these let's take away that back image and let's use this so on here we can actually use this square box just here and if we click on that we can choose all these different colors and we can also put in a hex code if we know what that hex code to the color is that we actually want to use so you could do black so what's black is zero 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 something like that anyway but if you know the hex code to the color that you want to use you would just plug it in there then uploads this is where you can upload your own images so i've uploaded quite a lot in here i do pay for the paid version so when you pay for the paid version you can also create folders so if you click on here you can create a new folder just there i have all these different folders of images that I've purchased and uploaded. So in here we've got Fiesta, as you can see. So that's one thing I do like about the paid version is that we can create these folders specific to different types of graphics. So all that is covered just there. If we go back to templates and let's get rid of this. So to delete the elements, you just click on the delete button. We're going to click, drag, so we can just delete that as well. Let's choose one of these, so let's click on that. On the templates, when you have them, all these are customizable. As you can see, you would just double click, put in what you want. And if we click on the font just here, and say we changed it to text, up here, so right here, is where you can choose your different types of fonts. Now, Canva has so many different types of fonts to choose from. And if you pay for the paid version, then you can upload your own fonts just here as well. Right here is where we can change the height of that font. And we can do that by just clicking on this little edge of the corner, dragging and making it bigger as well. We can choose the text color just here. Again, you can use the palette just there. We can do bold, italic, underline if the font allows it. We can center to the left, the right, or the middle. 
We can also use uppercase just here, use bullet points, spacing as well. So let's say we got two words in there and then we click on spacing. We can space them together as you can see until you've got it how you want. If you click on these three double dots, we can change the transparency like so. We can also add a link. So if you've made a PDF, so this is going to be a PDF, you can enter a link just here for this text so it can link out to where you want to go. So you do HTTP colon forward slash uh, www.google.com that doesn't even say Google, but you get the idea, you'd click apply, then when you download this as a PDF and click on that text, it's going to link out. Here you can double click, uh, not double click, sorry, if you click that, it's going to duplicate the text, which is a really great feature, but we don't want that, so we're going to click delete. We can click on that, position to back, left, center, right, bottom, middle, or top. So if we've got a couple of elements, say that one's like that, and we need the text in front of it, we would click, go to position, move forward, and now it's in front. Now, say you have this design how you want, but you want to see what other things you can change to make it look better. So all you would do is click here, so we go to copy page, and now we have two of the same page. Here we can now mess around, changing things. So let's get away from that. Let's move that down, move that up, move that to there. And we can just play around to see how we want things. So maybe out of these two that we created, we don't want this bottom one, so we can just delete that. And then maybe the size isn't quite the size that we want. So we can go here to resize. And then now this is actually just a paid feature, so you do have to have Canva Pro to do this. But from here, you can actually change. Let's go to show more. We can change the size of the image to a presentation, Facebook post, poster, all these as well, or we can put in the custom dimensions just here, and then we can copy and resize, or just resize. So let's do, change that to 10, maybe that's what we want, and then we can just resize just there. So if we click on that, it's now resized it. Now again, this is a feature just for the paid version. Now I don't like that, so we're just going to click on go back, so we've got that back to how it was. Here on the file section, you can create a new design, show margins, which you can now see those margins around the outside. Perfect for when you're creating books, low content books, or anything like that, like I like to do. Then we have save, save to folder, version history, sorry, make a copy, share, and help. Now, let's say we've actually got this how we want. We can change the file name up here. So let's just put test. So when we download, that's what the file is going to be. We can print, we can download, and we can share. So now if we click on download, we have the option for a PNG, a JPEG, a PDF standard, PDF print, which I recommend if you are creating low and no content books, video and animation. Now, PNG is great as well, and if you have the paid version, you can use just a transparent background. So say you've got, you want that deleted. Let's delete the background like that. Let's just change that black for a minute. So say this is a design, maybe for a t-shirt or something like that, and you want the background to be transparent. With the paid version, if we go back to here, PNG, click transparent and download, it's then going to be that transparent background. So again, that feature is perfect if you actually create t-shirt designs. Now, one thing I do want to cover quick, and that is licensing. So on these um, photos, as you can see, this one says Pro. If we scroll back to the top, 
try and find the paid ones. So these pro ones you get with the pro version. And then there's other ones that you have to pay for. Now I highly suggest staying away from the paid ones because the licensing, if you don't fully understand it, you can get in trouble. So I do really suggest looking into their licensing over on Canva and really understand it before you start using the pro images or the vectors or anything like that. So that is just a quick rundown of Canva. I tried getting in as much as I possibly could, as quickly as I could as well. If you want to rewind the video, you can to go back and look at everything that I covered. And if you want to check out Canva, there is a 30 day free trial for the pro version down in the description below. Disclaimer, that is an affiliate link. So if you go for the free trial and then decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. Now, do you need the pro version of Canva? No, you don't. Quite a lot of what we just covered here within this video is completely free. So you can sign up for free and start using it today. Now, the main reason that I use the pro version is because the features that I want. So I get to design uh, graphics with transparent backgrounds. I get folders that I can create so I can put all my graphics in them as well. I can resize any image with one click of a mouse and I can upload my own fonts. So that's the reason that I use the pro version. Again, you don't need pro version when just starting out. So go through and sign up just for free. And if you like the tutorial, make sure to subscribe because I am going to be bringing out a lot more Canva tutorials tutorials over the next few weeks. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.